In this video, I want to talk to you about my family. I have four brothers. I have two on my dad's side and I have two on my mom's side. And I don't have any sisters. So my mom did have her first child was a girl and she didn't make it. So that would have been my sister, but I don't have a sister. So on my dad's side, one of my older brothers passed away and one is still living. I don't really know him like that. I know his name and I know of him, but I don't really know him. And I think my dad had a daughter, but I'm not sure. <laughs> that's one of those stories that's like coming up in my mind from like back in the day, but I can't, I can put a face, but I can't put a name to the face. And I don't know if she was like the daughter of the woman or I don't know, guys. So all I know is that I do have two brothers on my mom's side and two brothers on my dad's side. So I grew up with the two brothers on my mom's side in the house with my brothers until I was 14 years old. So one is older than me and one is younger than me. And... My parents, as far as I know, they were together up until I was about 12, I think. I want to say 12 because my dad passed away when I was 14 years old. And so, yeah, I think that was about the time frame. I have two children. I have a son and I have a daughter. So my son is 13 and my daughter is 18. So other than those people I mentioned, I don't know any other people in my family. I did meet one of my aunts, two of my aunts before. I had an aunt named Judy and I had an aunt named Justine. As far as I know, I think they're both still alive, but those are the only ones that I can remember. So I did used to live in like a group home before. so. Before then, I don't remember much. I know that I was with my mom and my dad until my dad died. They separated first. My daddy did leave. I don't know who left. <laughs> he wasn't there. And I still go over his house though. I would still visit him and see him. So they lived in separate houses. I do remember that. I remember a woman, her name was Patricia. She was like my godmom and her mom. I was very close to her mother too. And I went to her funeral, her mother's funeral, but Patricia is still alive if I remember correctly. So I don't think she's my blood relative. I think she just was a friend of the family that, <laughs> I don't think she was a blood relative. I believe she's just a friend of my family that helped raise me. So being as that, I just had a little bit of family growing up, just only my two brothers and my mom and my dad and my two aunts and my godmom or family friend that those two, I guess I consider that a godmom, both of them a godmom. Her mother's name was Gwendolyn. So Patricia and Gwendolyn helped raise me. And then there was my mom and my two brothers. And that's all the family I had growing up. So seeing my aunts was once in a while. I maybe seen my aunt Justine three times in my whole life. I can't really remember how many times. It couldn't have been many because I'm, I'm being generous here by saying three. I guess I could say five because maybe in my childhood that I don't remember. But I'm thinking about two incidents that's very vivid that I can remember. So I'm going with that. So I'm going to just say three times to just be closer to the real number. And then... My Aunt Judy, yeah, I would probably have to give her another two or three times as well. And she had a husband, so when I seen her, I seen him. 
really maybe just a little bit of time, guys, like a little bit of time. Like I can't really remember as an adult a whole lot of interaction with any of my family. So when I went into a group home, which is like a home for girls to live in, after my dad died, none of my family came to get me. Um, my mom put me there and I stayed there until I was 18, technically 19, but I kept like running away because like who wants to be there? So I think that should be like a story for like another time, like a video, um, a story for another video when I go into like my adolescence and all of my childhood. But for this one, I just want to like explain who's in my family, like what family I have. So basically, that's my small little family. And today, I don't talk to any of them. I don't talk to neither one of my brothers. I don't talk to my mom. We don't have a close relationship. So I wish that I did, but I don't. I don't even talk to my daughter as of date of this video. So I'm hoping things change in the future, but yeah, no family right now. And I got married before. That didn't work out either. So I'm just bringing that up because I guess that's family supposedly. So that happened for me and my marriage didn't work out. I don't talk to him anymore either. So the only person I have in my life is my son. And my son is incredible. My son shows me love the best he can because he has autism. He's autistic, so the whole feelings thing, <laughs> I would have to make a video to kind of like tell y'all what it's like to raise a child with autism, if you don't know. But um, he's not emotional. He's not like touchy-feely with all that. So I've found ways over the years to figure out how he shows his love to me. And then I just choose to believe that he loves me. And if I ask him if he loves me, he will say he loves me. He won't just say it on his own for no reason, but yeah. <laughs> so I have my son. I have my son. My son is my son. My son is my son is my family he's all i have so one day maybe my daughter might come back into my life right now she's not she's exercising her autonomy doing her own thing and i don't know if she's ever gonna come back home so that's a story for another day but she does exist i created her <laughs> and she looks a lot like me actually more beautiful than me so i really don't have much to say on my family dynamic that's just it i would like to end this on a positive note so i will say that i love my kids i love myself i love all of my family, even though we're not talking and we're not close, I'm pretty sure somebody out there can relate. You know, it's just, it is what it is. I'm gonna put them on a vision board for the future. Maybe things might change and we might come back together again. You know, do like a family compound or something and we all live heavily ever after. <laughs> So it's just me, it's just me and my son. So that's who I got right now. And I love him for that. I gotta big up my son because he's the one that stuck around. So I can't, I can't talk bad about people. My spirit won't let me do that. God won't let me do that because I'm too understanding of why people do what they do. Even if it hurts me, I just get it. So I'm not going to throw dirt on anybody's name and say why we're not talking or anything bad about them. I don't want to do that. 
So I will, however, say in the future when I'm talking about my adolescence and transitioning into adulthood, different things that transpire, and if my family have something to do with it, I will tell the truth and say what happened, but only in a manner to tell my side of the story, not to like drag them. But this video, this video is just to say who my family members are. So I have a son, I have a daughter, I have been married before that didn't work out. I have two brothers on my mom's side that I grew up with. I have two brothers that I'm aware of on my dad's side that were born before he met my mother. And then I have my mom. So my mom is still alive. My dad passed away when I was 14. And I don't talk to any of them. It's just me and my son. So my daughter doesn't talk to me my mom, both of my brothers, and those are the only people that I had around my immediate family is what they call it. That was my immediate family. So yeah. So that's who's in my family.